Salma Hayek, where do you start? Uh, you know, I first told the story. Uh, I met her in the 1980, uh, 19, uh, late 90s. When she was a young actress, she'd come out of Mexico, and she told me later that she had drawn up a list of directors she wanted to work with. And she had no success. Everyone had turned her down. Everyone. And she really got soured about Hollywood. She would, she did it on her own a lot. She worked in, she produced uh, Frida, as you know. She was one of the producers. She, she's a fighter. Well, she met me at this party. I didn't know her. And she said, you're a son of a bitch. You didn't even, you didn't even meet me. You didn't even see me for a U-turn. The Jennifer Lopez. You give it to Jennifer Lopez. I was taken aback. I, you know, actors don't generally come and jump on you right away. They're very rare. They're very, on, on the contrary, they're sometimes, uh, to, they give you bullshit compliments. So, uh, I remember that. And I didn't like her, but I remembered it. But I wanted Jennifer Lopez for you that. I just did. Same thing here. The script, I wanted Salma Hayek. And, uh, and I wrote her in Europe, and she was living in Paris, and I said, please be in my movie. And Universal said, are you sure? Universal Pictures said, are you sure? You know, is she tough enough? Because somehow they thought she was something else. I said, are you crazy? This woman gets what she wants. She knows what she wants. And she told everybody on the set, you know, I want a blue dress. I don't want it to be pinned this way. I'm not going to go on the set unless my dress is right. And she was tough, and sometimes we have to wait in the sun. But she had to get that back even good thriller. You know, it read fast. Uh, Don had written a, a wonderful novel about Mexico called The, uh, uh, the Power of the Dog, which is, goes into the history of the cartels, back to Gallardo, the 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s. And it tracks it all. If you, it's a powerful book, but it would be as it, it should exist as a television series if you do it that way. So, the, this Savages was a contained story with six people, and I have never done a movie about Southern California in that celebrating beaches, surf life, those type of people who live on the beach, like uh, like Blake Lively and Aaron and, and Taylor. And I love. I always wanted to do a bit of Sergio Leone, a Western, a neo-contemporary Western, and, and cards, Mexican noir, uh, a little bit the, like the masks, the, the, the Santa Muerte. Uh, it, it was. It felt right for me, and I wanted to do a summer movie. <laughs>